So, um, <laughs> shall we look at sending information via the amplitude? Okay, sure. So, let us look at amplitude in, uh, modulation in a little bit more detail. Yeah. I will just call it AM. And uh, this is just, if you just look at amplitude modulation, it is just a, uh, you know, basic uh, concept at the signal level. Yeah. But the minute you send it in wireless form, it becomes a radio. Right. So, we will just call it an AM radio. A radio. Okay. Yes. Right. A radio is basically something that uh, sends or receives information wirelessly. Wirelessly. So, I will just call this uh, theory AM radio theory. Okay. Right. Okay. Um, so, we are going to take a message signal M of T yeah. and we said the information is of this sort. Yeah. So, A of T sin 2 pi. Um, so, since we are saying M of T, yeah. maybe I will call this maybe A M of T. Yeah. Okay. And I will call this 2 pi M uh, F M T. F M T. And uh, since. Phase can be 0. Can be 0. Yeah. Right? It yeah. does not matter. <coughs> the phase can be 0 yes. and we will just assume that yeah. it is 0. Mm. I want to send this information. Yes. The real problem is we already know that we cannot send it out wirelessly because some it might interfere yeah. with somebody else. That is you cannot send AM of T directly. We cannot send AM of T directly. Yeah. yeah. Right? Uh, <coughs> so, um, what you have to do? You have to multiply it with some sinusoid. Correct. Okay. So, maybe since this is constant, I am going to call this FC. FC. Okay. Okay. Instead Got of it. FM. Yes. Um, and uh, traditionally, FC is called the carrier. It is called the carrier. It is called okay. the carrier. Okay. Okay. Because it is a fixed frequency. Yeah. Which each user can choose. Yes. AM of T is a specific uh, message signal. Yeah. Whereas, FC is a carrier. So, for example. Yeah. Um, AM radio has a range of frequencies, yeah. uh, several hundreds of kilohertz. Kilohertz. So yes, this is that a is carrier. something we saw in the radio. Yes, right? correct. This is the carrier frequency. Frequency. So um, I'll just say it's a few hundred kilohertz. Few hundreds of kilohertz. Okay. Up to about one and a half megahertz or so. Yeah. Right. Right. Um, in AM radio. Now, uh, we need to figure out uh, what this might look like uh, in the um, in the time domain. Yeah. Because we need to look at the signal. Yeah. So, why do not we just take the same message signal that we tried to send in the wired case? Absolutely. Right? Right. It will be a one to one comparison. One to one comparison. Right. In the wired case, what message signal did we take? We I think we just assumed it was a binary. Or no, we took no, a we binary? Took a binary. So, ah, okay, M1 okay. of T was okay. some sequence of 1s and zeros. Sequence of 1s and zeros. Yeah. Perfect. So, in fact, that is an easy way of doing it. Yeah. So, imagine that AM of T was either 1 or 0. Yes. Right? So, you had uh, maximum amplitude or 0 amplitude. Or 0 amplitude. In fact, if you look at this, so let us say I will uh, plot it below here. So, this is. 1 or 0. Yeah. And what I am going to do, I will show two plots. Yes. So, we will also take a fixed bit pattern for exactly, M of T. Exactly. Exactly. Right? That is what I plan to do. So, so this is first I will plot A M of T. Yeah. And uh, let us say mm. it looks like this. So, let us say it starts with 0, maybe 1, uh, 0 for some time, starts with 1. Shall we say something like this? Yeah. Perfect. Some random pattern. Yes. <coughs> now, so the bit pattern is 1010011. Something like this. Something like this. Like this. Right. So maybe uh, let us say this was the period. So maybe we will say 1100011. One, one, zero, ah. one, zero, zero, one, one, so okay. just like in the wired case, for a time period t, you are sending either 1 or a 0. That is absolutely right? right. Depending on the message. That is absolutely right. So if a m of t was 1, Yes. I can clearly see that m of t is just sin 2 pi f c t. Correct. Right. So, if I had sin 2 pi f c t, it would, uh, well, now, how do we draw this unless we know f c? Yeah. So, one of the things we will assume is that f c is, is much, much larger than, than 1 over t. Than 1 over t. So, let us say this was t. Correct. I will call this some t m. Yeah. Is the period of the message. So, we will assume that 
the carrier frequency is much much larger than T. Yes. Okay. Got Once it. you do this, you'll be able to draw this. So I'll draw it in a different color. Yeah. So it is sine two pi f c t. Yes. So so we'll show a high higher frequency sinusoid. Yeah. And the minute it becomes zero, nothing. I will not get anything till I hit the next point. Okay. And then again, I'll get until it becomes zero again. I see zero, and at this point, you'll start seeing the sinusoid again. So this would be one very rudimentary way of sending AM signals. AM signals. AM signals. Okay. So nowadays, in modern wireless communication mm. parlance, uh, this is often called uh, on-off key. On off key. Because okay. you can see it's just on and off. Off. You're sending a carrier. Okay, great. Because using a single key, yes. like a, you can just turn it on or off. Yeah. So this effectively, you have, what you have done is you have taken AM of T, and if it is one, you are just sending the sinusoid for that period. Otherwise, it's nothing. Yes. So M1 of T corresponding <laughs> to A1 of T, right? You had two sets of users. I had two sets of users, right? correct. Okay. Correct. So you are now saying this person is going to transmit with F1. That's right. That person, when there is a message signal which is 1, will That's transmit right. at F2. F2. Okay. But we have one more problem. Yeah. We need to confirm that we are not interfering. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So exactly. That is because the problem even now is yes. earlier they received alpha M1 of T plus M2 of T. Correct. But now they would receive alpha A2 of T. No. Uh, uh, no. Earlier they were receiving <laughs> alpha A1 of T plus a2 A2 of t. That's now right. they will receive alpha m1 of t plus m2 of t. Absolutely. Which still seems an interference. It, it still seems, seems like an interference. It seems right? like a garbled signal. Yeah. So let us quickly look at what will happen if you were to uh, get a combination of this. Yeah. So um, let us say that fc. So we will say m1 of t. Yeah. Is basically a1 of t sine uh, 2 pi fc1 yeah. t. Yeah. And we'll say that the other person yeah. is sending a2 of t sine 2 pi fc2. Of yes. T. So, um, these are the two sets of message signals that two different users are trying to send. Yes. Now, we need to make sure that uh, this person needs only, so um, we'll say, well, let's give them some labels to yes, make things easier. Exactly. So I'm going to call this TX2. Uh, Sorry, yeah. we'll call this TX1. Yeah. We'll call this RX1. Yes. And we'll call this TX2 and RX2. Yes. So RX1 wants to receive F1. That's right. Right. RX2 wants to receive F2. That's right. Right. So, so R RX1 yeah. receives M1 of T plus, uh, I believe I said alpha M2 yes. of T. Is that right? I think I said beta m2 yeah. of t. Correct. Beta m2 of t. And rx2 yeah. receives m2 of t plus alpha m1 of t. We still have this problem. Yeah, exactly. So, <coughs> we need to figure out a way to uh, separate out. So, you only want this. This is the desired signal. For rx1, for it RX is m1 one. of t. And for rx2, is M2 of no, T. No, actually it is just A1 of T and A2 of T, isn't it? Correct. Actually, they but want only A1 Actually, of they T. only want this. A1 of so, T, exactly. So, we have to remove both. Uh, <coughs> the minute you remove M2 of T, you get only this. And right. then so. So, you have to do a couple of operations. So, this is for, uh, absolutely you are right. And from M1 of T, you have to extract out A1 of T. A1 of T. So, exactly. um, as we saw, the way to remove... Uh, M2 of T and yes. M1 of T is using filtering. Using filtering. Using filtering. So, first step, remove uh, beta M2 of T hmm. at Rx1 yes. through filtering. Yeah. And in fact, there will be various levels of filtering. Yeah. The students will learn about this. No, I think to a first order, this is this should be some sort of a bandpass filter. It right? should be some kind of a bandpass filter. F1, F2, they're That's trying right. to get information around those two bands. Absolutely. Right? So, right? so this will yeah. be some kind of bandpass filter. Bandpass filter. Yeah. 
to be a bandpass filter. Yes. If you do this, you will get only M1 of T. Yeah. Right. So this gives you only. So the minute you do this, uh, this result, you get only M1 of T. Yeah. That is the first step. Then now you need to extract. You need to extract A1 of T, which is the message signal. Correct. So um, to do this, we are going to rely on two things again. Okay. So if you want to do this, you will first rely on the fact that you know FC1. Yeah, you know the you, carrier frequency. Right? Exactly. So, and this is what corresponds to us tuning the radio to a certain exactly. frequency that we want. We Absolutely. know we know the channel, we know the band on which they are transmitting, and we are tuning to that. Right. Absolutely. So, in fact, if you actually go out and uh, look up uh, the information on, let's say you are in a particular region. Yeah. We are in Chennai right now. Um, you can actually find out uh, at what frequencies AM radio, for example, is yeah. being transmitted. Is being transmitted. Right. So, you already know FC1. Yeah. And you might need, there might be three, four AM channels. You just need to choose which channel you want to tune. Exactly. To, right. right. So, the, this is tuning. The radio. Once you do this, yeah, uh, we are going to rely on a property of the sinusoid. Okay. Okay. So what we are going to do, um, we are going to, uh, since we know FC one, yeah, and we want to remove this sign. We only want A one of t. We are going to take this M one of t. So we'll take uh, M one of t, and we are going to multiply it by by the same sign uh, 2 pi fc 1 t. Okay. 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 If you do this, the output, let me call this y of t. Yeah. So, your y of t is simply a 1 of t yeah. uh, sin 2 pi fc 1 t. times uh, sin 2 pi fc 1 t again. Again. And uh, this is uh, sin squared theta. Sin squared theta. And uh, that is uh, now my trigonometry is weak. Okay. Uh, so, so it's 1 minus cos 2 1 theta minus by 2. cos 2 theta by 2. Yeah. Right. So it is important that everybody remembers the trigonometric yeah, yeah. identities. It will keep coming again and again. So yeah. uh, please remember this. 1 minus cos 2 pi fc 1 t no, into, by 2 into 2 fc. Oh, sorry, into 2. Uh, so, into uh, make that 4. Into 4. I just make this 4. 4, yeah. 4 2 pi fc t yeah. by 2. By 2. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, a 1 of t yeah. times 1 minus cos 2 theta, which is 2 times 2 pi fc 1 t. Yeah. And half of that. Yes. Okay. So, now we find that we are actually getting two components. Yes. This is basically you get half A1 of T. Yeah. And you also get uh, a second harmonic. We have seen uh, harmo harmonics, uh, exactly. harmonics before, right? So, we are seeing the second harmonic of the carrier. Correct. Right. So, you are getting the same what looks like this AM modulated signal, but which rides on top of the second harmonic. Of the um, of the carrier signal, right. so this is second harmonic. This is our desired signal. Yes. So this is our desired. The easiest way to get rid of this because a one of t frequency we already assumed that uh, fc one is yeah fc. 1 is much much larger than we said 1 over tm. Correct. So, you have to filter out this portion. Yeah. Using a filter. This can be a low pass filter. So, mathematically what is it? So, this is a low pass filter, right? Yes, correct. Yeah, right. In the sense that A1 of t, the information is in very low frequency. You are filtering it out and Removing the high frequency. Yes. Right. Correct. Absolutely. Okay. So, yes. uh, but mathematically, yes. the low pass filter. 
Yes. So what does it mean in terms of the in terms of this? Um, in <clears throat> terms of, uh, uh, are you asking from a communication theory point of view? Yeah, kind huh? of. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Um, well, uh, technically, this would be called a mixing operation. Is okay. That, is that what you are? Uh, no, I am looking at. at uh, for example, what you are effectively saying is, you pass this through a low pass filter. Correct. You effectively, get only a one of t. Correct. Right. Correct. Now, I am asking, can this be done either through integration or differentiation or something like that? Ah, okay. So, th okay. So, that means mathematically. Mathematically. So, mathematically, the low pass filtering is simply an averaging operation. Okay. Okay. So, low pass filtering okay. can be seen as an averaging operation mathematically. Right. So, uh, uh, which is basically an integration. Okay. Okay. So, so, so you are saying that if I now integrate the signal absolutely. over a period of time and divide by that time, correct, I will get A1 of T. Can we prove that absolutely. mathematically? So, in fact, if you look at a low pass filter, that is exactly what it is doing. Okay. Because you are converting the current to a volt, uh, voltage to a current yeah. and doing the integration operation through a capacitor. Okay. So, if you take an input signal yeah. and uh, this is Vi. Yeah. And if you actually take Vc of t, yeah. um, if you look at this, um, Vi of t uh, is being converted. Oh, so we, we saw this. In fact, when we wrote the differential equation solution, exactly. we said this is integral of Vi of t times. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So, <coughs> the if you, well, the easiest way to imagine this yeah. is, uh, Imagine you had a current signal. Yeah. You don't have to think of it this way. So, in fact, imagine that you actually had a, the information as a current signal. Current signal. signal. Okay. Great. All you need is simply a capacitor yeah. to do this uh, integration. You, yeah. Right. 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 Okay. So, Vc of t this. will just be 1 by c integral i i of t dt. Yeah. Okay. This is actually a low pass filter with a zero cutoff frequency. Right. Right. With right. the resistance being set to zero. Yes. This uh, you can look at it uh, also as an averaging option, also as an integration, yeah. except it you can look at it as uh, not a pure integration alone. Right. So, you are doing a combination of integration plus mm -hmm. also allowing some more, yeah. right. Uh, right. you know, uh, uh, doing something else as well. Yeah. Okay. So, so now you are saying therefore, if I take that, can you go back to the previous yes. page? Yeah. So, you are saying I take this y of t. Yes. And just do this integration. Yes. And you're saying this <laughs> this second term will go to zero. Absolutely. It Can is. we prove that? Yes, that's uh, relatively easy to do. All you have to do yeah. is uh, you take y of t. Yeah. You integrate it. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> let us choose an integration period. Yes. That is a um, uh, uh, let us say an integration period that is going to be a multiple. Of the time period of the carrier. Carrier, yeah, I find that is the so easy that we way get to do it. whole number of periods. Exactly. Yeah. So if you do that, so if you integrate, let us say you start integrating at some time. Yeah. You stop at some times t. Uh, maybe we'll call it n times t c. So n times t c. Yeah. So we'll just say that t c is one over f c. Yeah. Uh, in fact, t c one, f c one, one over yes. n times yes. t c one. If you do this, yeah. So let us say this is z of t. Yeah. You are integrating this. This is basically integral of n times t c one of we said it's a combination of half a one of t yeah d t plus minus zero half to, ah yeah we have a negative sign thank you minus half minus half a one of t uh, cos four pi F C one T T T. Yeah. Now N N times T C one. Oh, N times T C one. I think that got okay. Connected. Okay. So now uh, I, I hope can see the first term will come out as A one of T. This is just well, a half, of, half, half A one of, 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 of T. The reason it comes out as half A one of T is because we have assumed that uh, you know T C. We have assumed that uh, F C one is much much larger than T M. Correct. So in reality, you have to choose N as well. Yeah. But basically. Uh, you have to assume that T m yeah. is much much larger than n times T c 1. Yeah. yeah right, this right. assumption also happens. Uh, happens. So, then this integrates to simply. Should we also be dividing by 1 over T c 1 because you said averaging absolutely. operation. Absolutely. So, since it is an averaging operation. 
so we will do this ntc1 TC1. yeah tc1 1 over ntc1 because it's an averaging operation right absolutely and this one mm. would just simply average out to yeah half a1t now we have an integral number of cycles yeah and a1 of t is either 1 or, or 0. 0 absolutely so through that entire ntc1 correct it's a constant absolutely right? in fact this works even if it is not 1 or 0 wow as long as a1 of t value stays constant constant during this period 0 to ntc1 so that is established by this assumption Okay. So, if this works even if you do not have on off keying, even if a1 of t is really a function of time, time. you can assume that it is approximately constant. In, in this NTC1 In period. this NTC1. Okay, I, I understand, yeah. So, so, anyway, but for the message signal, we have it 0 or 1, so it is straightforward. Absolutely. It is a constant integral of cos. That is right. right. That is going to be 0. Over an integral number of cycles. Cycles. Right. So, this clearly goes to 0. 0. That is right. Absolutely. So, Great. Uh, in fact, that is exactly what the low pass filter does. The low right. pass filter basically does an integration or an, or an averaging. Or an averaging for you. Correct. Right? Okay, excellent. So, actually, just a curious question, right? So, you, you go back to the uh, amplitude, you know, you said you wanted to do two steps, right? One is filtering and then <coughs> Correct. Uh, this thing. I think, uh, yes, ah, I said Now, this. my question is, if I take this without applying a filter i just take m1 of t okay. plus beta times m2 of t yes and send it to your low pass filter you could do that as well can let's we'll, see let's, let's see, see what happens. happens let's see what happens yeah. so suppose you take m1 of t plus beta times so i'll call this uh, uh, let's say y1 of t y1 of t is basically plus uh, m1 of t plus beta m2 of t and you want to send this through the integration option. Yes. Right. So I'll call this Z1 of T. <coughs> yeah. Is uh, we'll say again 1 over NTC1. Yeah. Integral um, 0 to NTC1. Yeah. Of Y1 of T. Yes. DT. DT. So this is basically. No, one it has to be multiplied <laughs> by the sinusoid. Right? We are also multiplying. This is, uh, that is there hidden inside this. No, no, no. Ah, yes, yes, yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. Correct, correct. Because uh, you want to multiply this. Well, 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 well. Mm. Okay, okay. So, th which means <clears throat> you do not want to do this uh, extraction. You are talking about doing this. Yeah, uh, I'm doing <clears throat> it directly in one step. Directly in one step. Right. Perfect. Yeah. So, which means then let us show that before we yeah. uh, uh, go to the integration itself. Yeah. Let us show them with the block diagram what we are trying to do. Yeah. So, basically, uh, you want to take uh, y1 of t. Yeah. And you want to multiply this with uh, sin. Exactly. Right. Because y1 of t is as received. Correct. <laughs> and you are just multiplying by the frequency I want to tune to. You want That's to all. tune to. Absolutely. <laughs> Correct. Right, okay. and then we have to do something on it. And Correct. you said low pass filter. We said low pass filter, but let's see. Let's do this first. Yeah. Let us see. We'll do the integration later. Yes. So we'll 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 leave this aside for a moment. Correct. Okay. So maybe I'll just uh, uh, cut this out of the way. Yeah. So let us see first what this gives. Yeah. Right. So let us say this is z1 of t. Yeah. So this is basically uh, m1 of t sine 2 pi fc 1 t plus beta m2 of t sin 2 pi fc1 of t. fc1 of t. So, basically I will get uh, y of t, uh, m1 of t was basically a1 of t sin 2 pi fc1 of t. So, a1 of t sin squared 2 pi fc1 of t. Okay. Plus uh, m2 of t is a2 of t sin 2 pi fc2 t. Right. Right. Plus a2 of t and with the beta. Yeah. Uh, sin 2 pi fc 2 t times sin fc 1 t. Yeah. Right? Yes. Perfect. So, uh, and we want to, see, well, let us simplify this first. Yes. Because uh, <coughs> that we, is we one know minus the first cos. one. Yeah. One minus cos. So, this z1 of t yeah. is basically a1 of t 
by 2 times we said 1 minus cos 2 pi cos 4 pi yeah correct fc1 t okay yeah this is the first portion the second portion we now have sin a sin b yeah so it so is cos, cos of a minus b minus cos of a plus b by 2 is that right, right? correct 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 is that right correct okay so hmm. we will say that it is uh, beta a2 of t by 2 times because cos of a plus b is cos a cos b minus sin a sin b yeah. so i will need uh, so this would be cos of uh, a minus b by 2 hmm. now we can take fc1 or fc2 as the first because cosine uh, yeah. you know is uh, insensitive to the is an yeah. even function so we'll just assume no, let's just make an assumption we'll just assume that fc2 is greater than fc1 okay fine like right? yeah. second carrier frequency is just greater yeah right so fc2 minus fc1 uh, well 2 pi i need the 2 pi factor yes 2 pi, 2 pi into fc2 minus fc1 t, t. Um, no, i'm two. having a lot of brackets so i have taken the half outside yes so by 2 fc2 uh, minus fc1 by 2 uh, no this is right no a minus um, so it's half of no 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 fc the, the this is uh, you will get so, c plus d so by two, a right? is basically fc uh, 2 pi yeah uh, fc1 yeah t b is uh, 2 pi fc2 t yeah and basically cos sin a sin b yeah is a uh, uh, half of cos of uh, a minus b minus cos of a plus b right okay yeah you don't right, have right, a, right, right, right. isn't ah, it the yeah, half yeah. i have pulled ah, it out okay 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 right ah. so uh, cos of 2 pi into fc2 plus fc1 yeah t. is this right 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 i right, hope right. this is right yeah, correct huh? okay yeah yeah <coughs> now interestingly so we originally integrated um, you know over an integer multiple yes. of uh, you know fc1 yes 1 by fc1 1 by fc1, one yeah. by FC one yeah. correct but now we have two other components yes right so we have uh, fc2 minus fc1 and fc2 plus fc1 yes so one possibility that we can mm. do yeah um what we could do is we could find the uh, lowest common multiple uh, of the time period yeah. and integrate over that time that's in fact the easiest thing to do easiest thing to do right right so now you need to integrate over a time period so so now this z1 of t yeah is being sent into the uh, low pass filter what shall we call integrator. that signal correct integrator. integrator right so we'll call that since i've already used y z uh, um a u1 of t u1 of t great u1 of t is going to be 1 by i am just going to call this some n t u yeah okay better integral 0 to n t u, u of z1 of z1 t z1 of t okay so now what do we want this is our desired portion in fact we want exactly correct. this component correct right and we want so now we went from just analysis to designing our system such that we get only a1 of t correct right so we don't want this we don't want this and yes, we don't want this exactly so um we are we want this to be equal to a1 of t by 2 okay yes. which means the other three integrals have to just go to zero exactly so, so you need to choose tu yes right so, so now you, you have to choose TU, you have to choose FC1, FC2, that yes. combination such that these integrals go to 0. Yes, right. absolutely. Mm -hmm. So that uh, cos 4 pi FC1 T component, so yeah. this component, okay. So, oops, okay, that's okay. I think. Uh, so yeah. this so that this um and the this in fact i'll just take copy both of these yeah so these three components 
when will, integrated will in, when integrated will go to zero yes okay over over uh, ntu ntu right again right. so you have to choose these three you have to choose these three if and you, it is possible to if it you is know possible. fc1 and fc2 and yeah. it is absolutely possible possible to do this right to do this so this is amazing <coughs> what we have done is you have been able to show amplitude modulation right Ampl you called it amplitude modulation i am assuming this process is called demodulation this process exactly right? this process of reception is called demodulation demodulation absolutely right? and you have been able to demonstrate amplitude modulation demodulation using elementary trigonometry from class 12 absolutely right no absolutely. no high funda concept has been used nothing at all absolutely right? in fact <clears throat> lot of uh, basic uh, communication analog communication is based on very simple trigonometric concepts so please very please this uh, you know refresh your concepts if you know these things it will be very easy for you to handle this theory right okay great so you have been able to take the carrier off Absolutely. you have been able to get the signal back right so the yes. i am assuming that the other person will be tuning their low pass filter exactly. to fc2 absolutely right Ex absolutely in <clears throat> fact a majority of wireless communication yeah. is all about tuning those variables nowadays okay. is about tuning it such that you only get the message and you knock off anybody else who's using wow. it wow except it's just so much more complicated because the amount of information that you're trying to send and the number of uh, you know uh, frequency bands that you're trying to use yeah, yeah, is yeah. just right. uh, blown right. up in recent right. years okay interesting yes. okay great